Well, hey guys, how you doing? This is... Again? All right, well, we're going to talk about that FTM uh, 400 DR, and that's the ASU um, uh, VHF, UHF, a dual band uh, mobile radio. Uh, I do have it installed in the mobile. It's uh, kind of close to the uh, windshield, so it does capture the satellite fairly well, although it's blocking my controls for the uh, vent for the air conditioning, which is okay, I guess. Um, I don't use them that much. Um, but that was the, the biggest challenge, is to find a place to mount the head unit. And I have the actual uh, radio down here. So that's the actual radio, uh, the body of the radio, the chassis. And um, anyway, uh, the mount is uh, fairly nice. Now we talked about the display, and it's really good. Uh, this is a full duplex radio too, by the way. So you can talk on one channel and listen at the other at the same time. Um, now, I'm going to talk about the different uh, screen menus, and also APRS, and that icon on the right corner right there that basically is showing you that it's seeing a satellite so it's receiving GPS satellite uh, let me turn the audio down on this band we're gonna switch to APRS in a minute here okay so this is your uh, um, FDM 400 APRS and it also has the Yesu digital mode FDME, uh, so it has analog and digital. It will do both. So, okay, so right now we're going to switch to the APRS screen. And uh, let me first go up here to the uh, A band. Okay, and then we put it in VFO. So that's the APRS channel here. I'm going to go to uh, low power because I have the car turned off. That's high. That's low. So that's low power. You can do everything from a microphone. Okay, so now I got to turn the modem on. But before I do that, I'm going to go through the screens with you. So this is the first screen. It's more like a compass screen. And... Uh, it has two modes. This screen has two modes. Uh, before I go into the second mode, I'm going to go to this, uh, another screen here. Just bear with me. That's screen number two. That's the elevation screen. I love that screen. Now, <laughs> you know, that this, uh, this looks like a middle finger, but uh, it was not intentional. Uh, trust me on this. It was not <laughs> intentional. <laughs> Okay, guys, a little bit of a... <laughs> I'm just losing my mind here. It looks like a middle finger, doesn't it? Okay, but this is not intentional. And as you can see, it uh, shows my elevation scale here. Uh, I was uh, at uh, 250 feet, went up to 521 uh, feet, then went back down. It was going up a hill. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, we're going to go to the a third screen right here. Okay, it's a UTC clock. That's your. It's, it shows you that it getting. It's getting all the information from the satellite, and it's a UTC clock. It shows you both channels that you're listening to. Uh, shows you the time, in analog and digital, and the date. Okay. So it's a UTC clock, and then the third, the fourth screen. This is the satellite capture screen. So it's giving you a display of all the satellite it's capturing. The satellite receiver is right back here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right back here. Yeah. So anyway, so this is a cool screen. It's the satellite capture screen. 
um, and all these satellites uh, that are lit up white uh, we have a good reception on so I'm capturing about um, let's see here four five six satellite good capture good signal all right so we're gonna go back here that's the uh, the uh, default screen and I'm gonna put it in the first compass screen and then I'm gonna activate the AP APRS function okay so I've already turned the beacon on um, but I have to turn the modem on so we're gonna go to display here press and hold and we go to APRS and we turn the beacon it's off now so I'm gonna turn it on okay so now the APRS is on and if you look in the top here shortly we're gonna be receiving APRS here we go here's a station right here now you see that green dot location from from where where is my location is and the distance okay it tells you right here here's another station this is so cool guys this is really really cool feature here's another mobile station another one right here very very cool tells you the distance this guy is really close this is a weather station a weather station now you see that dot up here that tells you that I'm also transmitting see it tells you where the location is from my location and the distance up here too 45.8 miles okay very very cool features here I apologize for the glare again but we're doing our best see how the compass moves this one this station is 215 miles away Wow obviously it was being relayed and it's a moving station this is another relay 52 miles away tells you the altitude all kinds of information very cool here's another station 6.5 this is a fixed station transmitting from a house probably according to the icon and uh, uh, multiple stations we're receiving packets right now from multiple stations some of them are moving some of them are static and you can uh, you can filter you can go to the uh, APRS menu and you can filter that you want to receive only fixed or mobile or weather stations uh, right now we're receiving everything pretty much this is a weather station right here another station that's uh, 45.7 miles away this one is 17.2 miles away uh, very very cool now I'm gonna go to another screen here press MY and that tells you your heading basically on the compass it shows your heading now right now I'm not moving I'm static but it's shown me the heading very good right here Okay. so APRS is really cool and again that dot on the top right corner it tells you that I am in a beacon mode I'm transmitting my intervals are every five minutes another weather station right here so it has some really cool features so we're gonna go uh, through the different screens again and we'll wrap it up so this is the compass screen we're in the compass screen right now all right 
another mobile station here. Another mobile. Uh, a lot of the mobile station they use dash nine, and my call is N one C Y dash nine. Okay, so let's see what else we can. Uh... Okay, so this is the elevation screen. Shows you the elevation. We're receiving a lot of APRS data, and this is the clock screen the UTC clock screen and this is all coming from the satellite you don't set that manually you can if you're not receiving GPS but this is all coming from the satellite okay and the last screen is the GPS capture the satellite that you're capturing with your receiver and this is an important screen um, and I'm actually surprised that I'm getting so many satellites with the radio not being mounted on top of the dash, which is really good. So it has a very good sensitive receiver, uh, satellite GPS receiver. Now this is again, it's a VHF UHF radio, 50 watts on VHF and 50 watts on UHF. It's a full duplex radio too. Back to the stock screen or default screen. There we go, and we'll put it back. We'll put it back in the uh, compass. I like the compass screen. So here's the compass screen, right there. So again, thank you for watching. I really uh, appreciate your uh, watching the videos and leaving your feedback. That's really cool. Thank you so much, and 73s from N1CY.